Future World is directed by James Franco and Bruce Theory Chung. And it follows this kid whose mother is really ill. He, she's bedridden. So he leaves his place, which is called the Oasis, and goes to this Paranas Beach. That's what that's called. It's the only place where he get the cure from. The kid's name is Prince and is played by Jeffrey Wobber. His acting was okay. His acting was, it seems like he was trying. James Franco, he plays a warlord and he's the main villain of this movie. Mila Jovovich, she also stars in it. Lucy Liu plays his mother. Uh, she's pretty good. I wish I'd cast her in more stuff. I loved her in Charlie's Angel. So that's basically what this movie deals with. And oh, there's a robot in it too. A really, really hot robot. So basically, the world has gone into chaos, governments fail, we practically just nuked the crap out of each other. It kind of sounds familiar, a tie between Terminator, what Skynet would do, or Mad Max, how the world died in those, which it never explained in those, but this movie had a Mad Max feel. But the way it started... You'd think you were watching a Terminator movie. So think of this movie as a Terminator meets Mad Max, sort of. Because it does have a robot in it, and it's set in a post-apocalyptic time. This whole world is pretty much a wasteland. It, it pretty much got thrown into a gargantuan chaos and back, thrown into the Dark Ages, pretty much. I'm sorry I can't talk that well, but, you know, it's just a lot for me to explain, and it's just... Overall, this movie, it wasn't really good. I mean, I recommend it for somebody who has nothing else to watch and it's raining outside and there's nothing to do, nothing else to do. I mean, if you want to watch it then, then I guess that'd be okay. It, it, it's up to you. But it's just, it, it's not worth the money. And it didn't even hit theaters. Not that I'm saying that every movie that don't hit theaters suck. I can't name any right off the top of my head, but I know I've watched some that didn't hit theaters that I actually liked. Those filmmakers, they try. I'm not here to discrim discriminate against anybody. I mean, I would expect the same courtesy and respect myself if I was to try to break into Hollywood, and that's all the uh, things that Hollywood would give me. I mean, not a big budget, not a, uh, a big cast, you basically work with what you got. So I'm not degrading all movies like this completely. But it's just Future World, it wasn't it wasn't really that good. It didn't really live up to my expectations. It just depends on who you are. Everybody's different. I personally didn't like it. It it was it was kind of drawn out. I mean, although there was a couple of cameos by a couple of favorite rappers of mine. Uh, Snoop Dogg and Method Man. That was pretty cool. But other than that, it just it wasn't really much to it. Like I said, it's up to y'all. If you want to check this movie out, it's called Future World. Um, they have it for Redbox, which is what I rented it from. But it's uh, around $16 in the stores. You decide it for yourselves. I always say, never listen to critics. You be your own critic. I mean, you can look at this video and just be entertained. I hope I'm entertaining you guys, but I love talking about movies, but I'm always going to remind you, be your own critic. So, no matter what anybody says to you, if somebody says, oh, the new skyscraper sucks, which I'm hearing that a lot, but I'm still seeing it anyway, I don't care, because <laughs> I want to be my own critic, and I advise y'all to do the same. So that's my review for today. That's my video re review for today. I hope you enjoyed it. There's a lot of more reviews that I want to uh, get out and that I'm hoping to get out soon. So stay tuned for that. And uh, like, subscribe, click that little bell icon at the, the side too for future posts. And I'll see you soon, I hope. Peace to out.